Seems like my life been really changing on me I know some niggas out here hating on me Ay, I see the bitches how they changing on me I know some niggas out here snaking on me Ay, see like my What's the goddamn deal, people? Shit, y'all see the name of the damn videos, Twigger Talk, episode one. So look, I wanted to do something different, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just doing reactions and that's it. My content, you know what I mean? I got a lot of, uh, I, got, I got great content as far as how I speak and what, the, what I talk about. So that's the whole reason why I started my channel in the first place is to be able to talk to y'all, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I did for my first year. And it wasn't working, so I don't know if I should do this or not because it wasn't fucking working. But the reactions work, so whatever. Anyways. Twigger Tiger episode one. What I want to do on these is uh, just come, you know what I'm saying? And just talk to you about what the fuck going on in my life. Talk to you about the fuck going on in the world. And just talk, period. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. So, my life right now. You know, everybody knows my situation as far as, uh, what I go through with my baby mama. Not, not in full, but you know, a little bit of it. You know what I'm saying? But, nigga, she trying to fucking kill me, bro. With a butter knife. <laughs> But I'm serious, nigga. <laughs> she really was gonna stab me with a butter knife, tell me she wish I'd fucking die and everything all over because her little fucking son, her son didn't want to eat his food, nigga. The fuck, man, I'm tired of going through shit. It's the type of petty shit I go through, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because this nigga didn't want to eat his food, now we got to get into it and fight and go through all this bullshit and hate each other and don't even fucking talk to each other, ain't spoke to none of this shit, nigga. Over a piece of chicken, my nigga. That's why I fucking hate chicken, bro. <laughs> I've been hating chicken for the longest, man. You know what I'm saying? I've already hated chicken, but now I even hate it even more now because this little nigga made us fucking fight and shit because he wanted to be a little fucking crybaby, a little titty ass baby. Y'all, I'm calling a fucking eight year old kid a little titty ass baby, but y'all know my situation. Y'all, he's only a kid. He's a fucking badass kid. He got ADHD and fuck shit up. You know what I'm saying? It's not his fault. It is his fucking fault. A lot of shit is his fault. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit that he does is his fucking fault. He ain't gotta fuck with people. He ain't gotta do this. He ain't gotta do that. Now, am I trying to go here and talk bad about my family? Yes, I am. <laughs> Cause them niggas don't give a fuck about me, nigga. <laughs> they really don't. They don't give a fuck about me, bro. I'm the smartest one in this household, bro. I'm the smartest one. Basically, I feel like I'm the smartest one in my motherfucking family. You know what I'm saying? My entire family. You know what I'm saying? We got one successful person in my family. One, nigga. One in my whole entire family. One person successful. And that's my bitch ass cousin. I ain't gonna say her name. But she's a fucking nurse. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we going through it too. You know what I'm saying? You ain't calling me. You ain't motherfucking. Am I wrong for this? Like, my family, when my fucking daughter died, the one that's sitting right here in this fucking box next to me, when she fucking died, Nobody came up to the hospital but one person, which was her. She, my, my cousin, she came to the hospital. But from then, nigga, this was fucking two and a half years ago almost, okay? Almost two and a half years ago. You ain't called since then. Nobody's called, and, and, and nobody's called me and checked on me, asked how I'm doing, asked how my daughter who made it, you know what I'm saying? Because I got twins, asked how my daughter who made it, how she doing, you know what I'm saying? Nobody called and asked about that shit. But you want to come to my house and come kick it and do crawfish and all this other shit? No, nigga, fuck you talking about? You don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? This is the whole point of me doing this, this little talks and shit. Is for one, I got a lot of shit to get out of my motherfucking body. Start, instead of just taking these motherfucking two, two, three rounds right here and shoot somebody, I'll take these motherfucking 12 gauge rounds right here and shoot somebody. I go get my nine and shoot somebody, you know what I'm saying? That's how a nigga be wanting to feel, bro. But instead of doing that, I'm just talking. What? Well, play something else. See that? That's my fire up. He don't be caring about nothing. I'll be in the middle of a phone call. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> I love my little nigga though. <laughs> but anyways, I'd rather sit here and, and talk about all the shit that I'm going through instead of actually really just acting on this shit because I'm in real, real, I am really tired of the shit that I go through with all my family, with people in general. You know what I'm saying? With people in general. Sticks and stones, I understand that. Break bones, words never hurt me. I don't really give a fuck about people saying shit and talking shit, but when you sit here intentionally trying to fucking make me react and want me to hit you and want me to do all this shit, nigga, no, bro, that's not cool. That's not healthy. It's not cool for these kids out here, you know what I'm saying? Parents need to stick together for these kids, bro. Like, we got, nigga, seven years, bro, wasted. You know what I'm saying? I just, just got three kids out of it. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what the fuck it is. 
and I hate that parents do this shit. I hate that my kids have to fucking sit here and deal with this shit. You know what I'm saying? But we got to stick together, man, as far as people, as far as human beings, as far as relationships, all that shit, man. Let social media go. You know what I'm saying? Let let the bullshit go. You know what I'm saying? Let what people say about you go in one or out the other. You know what I'm saying? Let all the drama go. Let everything just fusa. You know what I mean? That's how it should be. But a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people can't sit here and just let shit go. And a lot of people can't re uh, breathe before they react and shit like that. And I was one of them people who just fucking never just breathed. I just reacted and shit like that. Which I ain't react. Which I kind of didn't, kind of didn't because. You know what I'm saying? If I'd have reacted the way I want to react, I'd have been a murderer a long time ago because I had a lot of niggas I want to take out the fuck right now. And I'm not even playing bullshitting or what. And if I had the chance, nigga, I would. Sorry I sound like a fucking killer, but nigga, a lot of people in this fucking world don't deserve to live. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm crazy because I said the shit and have I ever killed anybody? No. Will I? Yes. If I had the fucking chance, I mean, not the chance. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to say that. If I had to do it, nigga, I would do it. Nigga in the heartbeat. I'm not tripping, bro. You know what I'm saying? The world getting crazy anyways, nigga. I didn't buy these girls for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't buy all this shit for nothing, nigga. Like, the world is getting crazy. People just think they can just do whatever the fuck they want to do and just treat you however and want to sit there and just try to kick your other family members out in the household just because you fighting with this person. Like, nigga, no, bro. This ain't how life works and operates. I don't understand why the fuck you people do this shit. Why people are so crooked and evil, nigga. Like... How how you expect to make it in the world? How anybody expect to make it in the world and get better if you're just gonna be crooked all the time? The world is, I mean, the fucking government is crooked, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Look at all the shit they doing to us right now with this COVID shit. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. I don't get it. I don't get why people like this and like that. And you know what I'm saying? And and I just don't get people in general, bro. Like, I don't get human beings in general. I really don't. I don't understand what it is. How come we can't come together? Because what? Some person has more money than them, got nicer clothes than them. Like, all that shit is fucking petty. Because in the end, when everything hits the fan like it's actually hitting now, because this shit's in steps. This They've been doing this shit in steps for the longest fucking time. When this shit hits the motherfucking fan, we ain't gonna have no choice but to come together or kill each other off. And a lot of people are gonna rather kill each other off than to come together and take our motherfucking... We be the government. You know what I'm saying? We the people. We supposed to be the people. We the people are stupid as fuck to let the government control us the way they control us, nigga. These fucking phones, these cameras, these games, these computers, these fucking drones, these fucking everything that they make for us. We are at fault and stupid as fuck for sitting here and, and, and not, you know what I'm saying, not paying attention to the shit. You know what I'm saying? Look at all these, you know, this virus shit that's going on. I don't think it's a virus. I'm sorry. I really don't think it's a virus. I really think it's 5G and it's flu season two and niggas is catching this shit plus this radiation shit. You know what I'm saying? Like... That's just me, my opinion. I don't think people are dying from a virus. That's just me. I know a lot of people have family members dying and, and they're going to say, well, it was because of the fucking virus. And that's what they're going to say, of course. And everybody's going to believe it. But nobody really truly knows, man. I don't even really truly know why I'm sitting here talking all this shit. But I just really don't believe this fucking virus, bro. I really don't. If you look at all this 5G, where was the first fucking 5G spots that popped up in China, my nigga? Where the virus come from? China. And now everybody's sitting here. Trying to get 5G, 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 5G. Look at all these motherfucking workers coming and saying this shit. Look at all these goddamn uh, doctors and shit saying this shit. Like, this shit is fake, bro. It's all just fucking radiation and shit. Like, come on, man. Look at the shit Bill Gates doing. That motherfucker want everybody to get vaccine, but won't vaccine his own motherfucking kids. And y'all still rock with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you Donald Trump ain't finna get no mark of the beast in his goddamn hand. I guarantee you motherfucking uh, Bill Gates and his family. And all these rich motherfuckers ain't finna get that shit in their motherfucking hand, the mark of the beast. You know what I'm saying? This cashless society shit that's going on, bro. Y'all don't even, y'all ain't even paying attention to that. They finna get rid of this cash. Yes, cash is nasty or whatever, but if you got cash, nigga, wash it. Money dries fast. You know what I'm saying? Wash that shit. Wash it. Throw it in some water. Sprinkle it around. Wash it. Lay it flat and let it dry. If that's how you feel. But no. Everybody, they gonna take the fucking cash from us, nigga. Chips. And put chips in us. How we, we already know about chips. You know what I'm saying? We've been knowing about chips for the longest. Shout out to Papa Duck because I'm, I'm learning a lot of shit from this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Papa Duck. But chips, man. How long we been programmed to think about chips? We've been having a chip in the car for a long time. So we've been programmed for a chip for a minute. So now if they say, oh, well, hey, now you don't have to worry about nobody stealing your information because you're gonna have your card in your hand. All you have to do is go, boop, and that's it. Oh, well, fuck yeah, let's get it. No, nigga. Tracking ass device in your hand, bro. Like, y'all don't understand this shit, man. Like, bro, they finna get... Ooh. 
Mm -mm -mm. Man, I got to spin on that one. Boy, they finna fuck us up. That's why I bought some guns, nigga, because if shit get down, if they gonna kill me, I'm taking somebody out with me, bruh. I'm sorry. Somebody gots to die with me. If, I, if they gonna come down this street and shoot bombs or whatever the fuck, I'm shooting back, nigga. If they bomb me, that's it. Okay, I'm done. But if they come shoot, nigga? Brah, nigga, what you talking about? Well, I'm not bullshit, nigga. I'm not playing, bro. Nigga, this bad bitch right here. I'm gonna do some shit or some, um, some motherfucking, uh, what am I trying to say? Some reviews and shit on this motherfucker. Look at my baby, bro. And yes, I put Twig on my shit. Let niggas know Twig ain't bullshit. But look at my motherfucking baby, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Look at my baby. Wait, wait, wait. Let me shoot my shit. Let me shoot my motherfucking. It don't matter, nigga, but look at my baby. It's a diamond back. This bitch bad as fuck, huh? I know. Ready to murk me a nigga. What's up with it? Check this hoe out. This hoe clean as fuck, bro. Oh, clean, nigga. Clean the motherfucker. Check this other one out, though. Check me out on the sh shoddy. <laughs> Whoa, boom. Yes, I got the twig on this side. And then I got the twigger squad, nigga, on this side. Why? Why well, only got twig on this side? Because it didn't motherfucking fit, nigga. But look at this bitch, though. Nigga, not playing, boy. Nigga, not playing, boy. <laughs> Better watch out, cause got one in the chamber. Don't need to do that. Huh? Don't need to do that. But anyways, Twigger's not bullshitting, man. Twigger ain't playing for shit. Twigger ready to hit something, make something. You know what I'm saying? Twigger ready to make something. Twigger ready to make something. You know what I'm saying? Whatever nigga gotta do. Anyways. Take them hoes out, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna ba-boom, nigga ain't got no pinky toe no more. <laughs> nigga ain't got no pinky toe, but man, look, bro, I just wanna let y'all niggas know what it was, man. Do this little twig of talk and start this shit. I'll probably start this shit once a week, you know what I mean? Once a week or once every day, shit. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do this, but look, man. I just wanna get on here and talk. Y'all let me know, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all let me know if y'all gonna like the twig of talk. If y'all wanna fuck with this, if y'all don't, you know what I'm saying? If y'all gonna watch it, if y'all don't, let me know. Oh, another thing too, man. Check um, my levels on my uh, my um, memberships, man. 199 is level one. Uh, 1599, I think it's level two, and 4999 is level three. Now I don't know what I'm gonna offer yet for those things to join my memberships for my page, but I'm trying to come up with that. So if y'all could think of something, man, let me know. You know what I'm saying? I think you know 199. I was thinking, you know, shout outs on fucking YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I put your name and your whatever your social media is on my shit and shout you out. You know what I'm saying? And then I was thinking level two. Uh, level two, I don't know, man. I was not sure I'm gonna do a level two yet, but no, I know 59 I'm not even sure what I'm offered with that yet. But for the for the 49 I know I want to give a free shirt once a month. You know what I'm saying? A free shirt and like some uh, FaceTime shit and something else. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I gotta feel like I gotta offer something else because you know 50 bucks is it's a lot of money to come out of somebody's pocket, especially right now. But I'm not finna just put 99 dollars, 150 dollars for some shit. Nah, no, I'm not doing that, bro. My highest I wanted to go was 50, bro. I didn't want to go that high, you know what I'm saying? But nigga, I make some type of money if I do, you know what I'm saying? Because shit, y'all more y'all help me and support my channels, the more we can keep going and doing some shit, you know what I'm saying? I want to do some gun reviews, buy some more guns, I want to do a lot. But the level two, I think that's the one I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, you know, 1599. But if y'all got some ideas, man, let me know. You know what I mean? For sure, let me know. Please let me know. And uh, we can, we'll work something out, you know what I'm saying? I'll figure something out, but I need to get this shit going with the t-shirts and everything. I know I got a lot of shit going on in my life and shit, that's why I did this Twigger talk. Everybody know what's going on, but man, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you made it to the end. Shout out, shout out. Let me know if you made it to the end. Comment below. Let me know if you made it to the end. If you heard this, and if you can figure out what I can do for my Twigger people, let my Twigger squad know that I got you and everything else and what I can offer, whatever. But uh, I love y'all, man. And then tune in to the next episode. Twigger talk.